Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today is a slightly different video. Lately I have been uh, into the sketchbook style videos and you've probably seen me do that in the past recently. I've um, fixed some old sketchbook pages. I've, you know, uh, did a sort of draw with me style where I filled a few sketchbook pages with some different things. And today I have a sketchbook ideas video and I have nine ideas for you to try out yourself. I love watching these kinds of videos myself and I just had the inspiration to make one myself because I have some ideas that maybe you haven't tried. So let's get into that. So my first sketchbook idea, and I had this idea recently, is to basically just pick a random word and then draw or paint things all over that one page that has to do with that word. Now I am using acrylic paints for this, but you can use any art supply. It doesn't matter because you just basically have to pick a random generated word. And I'm just using a random word generator because I had no ideas. And the word I got was conflict. And that was actually very interesting because it's not something I expected to paint or draw. And it probably isn't something that I would have drawn. <laughs> it's not really my uh, subject matter, but this is a cool idea because it basically gets you out of your comfort zone and you, you kind of have to use your imagination a little bit to try and draw a bunch of things to do with this random word. So for me, I drew things like a boxing glove. I also drew a sword, a little blood splatter because those are all conflict, you know, war kind of things. And I also drew a, uh, a samurai mask because I thought that that was really cool, as well as a medieval kind of shield. And then I drew a catapult because I was into like all of the, the sort of olden, you know, war type things. And of course I ended up uh, painting a grenade on there just because I wanted something a little bit modern. <laughs> and then I went back to the old sort of traditional weapons again and I drew a bow and arrow and a viking axe. So now for my second sketchbook idea, I want to do something a little bit more crafty here. So as you can see, I have two pieces of different colored paper and these are just um, toned sketch paper that I had sitting around. You can use any like different colored paper or even lined paper or post-it notes or anything like that. And basically I'm just cutting them up into different shapes. Mainly for me, I'm doing like squares, triangles, rectangles, but you can do any sort of shapes that you like and any size that you like. And then I'm basically just gluing them all over the page, covering that page with the different colored paper. And after this, as you can see, I am doing a nice sketch over the top. And this was really fun. I'm not sure where I got this idea from. I just really wanted to sort of mix papers up and see what kind of effect you can get with a sketch over like collaged paper. It was actually quite interesting to draw on as well. I had to be careful not to let the, the little edges of paper sort of mess up my lines and I basically just sketched over it with some graphite as well as a white paint pen to add in highlights. So for my next and third sketchbook idea, this one is a little bit more basic. I want to paint a full page pattern. Now I'm not too worried about getting everything looking perfect. This is kind of a really good exercise to warm up before you do another artwork or a painting. And basically I'm just drawing some or painting down some horizontal lines and then I turn the page and then I do some um, more lines over the top. And then I'm basically making this sort of played pattern as you can see. And then I layer on a little bit of white over the top and uh, it's an interesting pattern, I guess, but this is a really nice exercise to do to sort of warm up your hands before you go in and make another artwork. This can also be a fun exercise to um, practice control over the paintbrush. And um, yeah, after that, I decided to paint in some little messy flowers over the top just to add a little bit of interest. And overall, this isn't too bad, of course. It's not perfect, but that's the good thing about sketchbooks is you don't need every page to look refined and, you know, super detailed because this is a sketchbook. It's mainly for fun and practice.
So now for my fourth sketchbook idea, and as you can see here, I have this lovely app, and I'm basically using this app, which is Jazz's app, to randomly generate two items, which you are then going to combine into one item. Now you actually don't have to use an app or anything for this. You could pick two random things in the room that you're in. You could, um, you know, write down items and then pull them out of a hat or something like that. Or you can just, you know, pick anything that you like and combine it with something else that you like. This is a fun exercise because it actually helps with uh, your imagination as well. And you can actually get some really interesting, uh, you know, combinations. The one that I randomly generated was actually quite simple and I was kind of lucky there. <laughs> it could have gone any completely different way, which is the fun of it. But um, the actual uh, items I got was a music note and a pair of sneakers, as you can see. So I decided to draw a pair of sneakers, which are interestingly colored. <laughs> I just picked two random colors and then I kept it in that sort of uh, color palette. And basically these shoes have a music note pattern all over them. This was quite of an interesting one, honestly. I don't know if I would wear these shoes myself. They're not overly my style of shoes, but hey, I got something down in my sketchbook and I think it looks pretty cool. So now for my fifth sketchbook idea, and you're probably quite confused why this is footage of a backyard. <laughs> I'm just walking around the backyard at the moment and I am taking some random photos of things, just any, you know, any sort of item. There's a lot of plants here just because there are a lot of plants in the backyard, but I'm basically going to try to copy this photo and do a sort of still life. Now, if you don't have a backyard or if you, do, you live in an apartment or anything like that, that's also fine. Walk around your house and just take photos of objects that you wouldn't think of to draw. So like maybe, you know, just random objects around your house and then see if you can kind of recreate that in your sketchbook. Now, because the photos that I took are actually landscape, I am I have decided to do two of them on the one page, which is fun because it's, it's kind of like a two for one. And the first item is this uh, random part of a pond, which is in the backyard. And there's this pipe, which is sort of spewing out some water. And as you can see, a little meerkat statue. Now the next one is actually a little bit different. I sort of changed up just some of the placements of some of the plants, but that's fine because it's your sketchbook and you can draw items items in the way that you want. You can simplify it, you can change things up to make it look better, which is also fun because then you get to use your imagination a little bit. And as you can see, I'm just making a little painting of some succulents here. And honestly, I just think it looks really cute. So now for my sixth sketchbook idea, I'm going to actually upcycle an old uh, sort of unused sketch. As you can see here, we have this little sketch of a Zero Aura, which is a Pokemon. And there's actually a few little paint splotches on there, which got on there from another artwork. And honestly, I kind of ran with that idea and I got some watercolor paint and I splashed it all over this sketch here, really kind of messy. And I used a couple colors that are actually part of this Pokemon. And I just uh, had a lot of fun just splattering paint all over this sketch here. Now, as you can see, uh, the paint sort of covers up the sketch a bit and it looks a little bit too busy. So what I'm gonna do is go over the top just with a pen to add in uh, some of the lines that were sort of covered up. This is actually a really fun way for you to sort of revamp some old sketches that you maybe haven't used. Or if you don't have any unused sketches, you can just sketch something else, a Pokemon, an animal, a person, a, a thing, a plane if you want, that's cool too. And then you just splash watercolor all over it and then just sort of messily add in some lines over the top and honestly, it looks so cool.
So now for my seventh sketchbook idea, I'm actually going to practice uh, drawing something which I am very not good at drawing. And as you can see by the thing that I'm holding here, that thing is hands. The thing that most artists hate drawing, I'm going to draw that. I actually bought this wooden hand a while ago because I wanted to use it to help me draw hands that were specifically not my own hands, if that makes sense, because a lot of the time I would use my own hands as reference. And because I have these sort of small stubby hands with these short fingers, a lot of the hands I would draw ended up looking like that. And honestly, I didn't like that that much. Now these wooden hand mannequin things aren't necessarily the best to use for references. They're not perfect, but they are a really good starting point uh, for all of the anatomy. As you can see, it has almost all the joints that a hand would have. And it's got these like basic shapes, which you can copy down easily. Now you don't have to buy one of those if you don't have one. I My idea is mainly just to sketch something that you're not the best at sketching and then after this we're going to zhuzh up the page a little bit and make it interesting so what you can see is i have shaved off some lead off my colored pencils i'm using a tissue just to smudge it around to get these really sort of soft colorful clouds in between all of the little sketches and this is actually a fun way just to you know make a sketchbook page a little bit more interesting and you know just add a little pop of color in there so that it's not just a bunch of hands on a page, it's something that has a nice aesthetic. So for the eighth sketchbook idea I have here is something that a lot of artists pr are probably familiar with, but I'm going to add it in here because it is fun and it's also a fun way for you to think outside of the box and really use your imagination as well. And it is the blob uh, challenge. <laughs> Basically, you just use either some watercolor paint or even markers or anything really to draw in some random shapes and then you get a pen afterwards and then you draw over the top and you try and turn these random shapes into things. This idea really sort of makes you think outside the box and it makes you try and use your imagination and just look at a shape in different ways. Maybe you can turn the page to the side. Maybe you'll see something in there which you didn't see before and you can draw over the top and you know turn that little blobby thing into a cute character or an animal or a butterfly or a shoe. <laughs> It's actually a fun little challenge to do, especially if you're bored and you don't know what to draw. Maybe it will spark some inspiration for a future artwork, or maybe you're just bored at home and you just want to doodle something down in your page. And there you go. There's that. So for my last but definitely not least idea, this is the ninth one. <laughs> this is on a the, basically the same kind of thing, you don't know what to draw and you just want to get something down on the page. Uh, I actually had the random idea to go into my phone and have a look at all of the recent emojis that I have used on my phone <laughs> and then basically just fill your page and draw them. I got the random idea from those Facebook posts that you sometimes see that's like use the first three emojis to uh, react to something. So yeah these are basically the, the emojis that I use the most when I am online or just writing messages or anything like that and um, yeah this was an interesting one honestly. I wish I did a few things differently though. I used a white paint pen over the top of some colors and uh, those colors sort of leached through the paint. So I had to go over them a lot to make them white. So I wish I did that a little bit differently, but honestly, I like this page. I think it's interesting, it's different and uh, it's emojis, I guess. This is more something to draw when you're bored at home and completely uninspired and you just wanna fill the page with something. Or maybe it's a warm up for a drawing that you're going to do later.
But anyways, here is the final results for this sketchbook video and honestly, I had a lot of fun and this took me quite a lot as well. <laughs> and I've pretty much filled this sketchbook up completely, which is exciting because I barely ever fill sketchbooks and to have a full sketchbook it's just it just makes me happy so anyways if you're still here thank you for watching this long and interesting video i hope you enjoyed it <laughs> and i hope i gave you some ideas for you to try out in your own sketchbooks and if you want to show me on social media please feel free to do so i would love to see the ideas that you've got uh, in your style hope you're all having a lovely day please stay safe out there and i shall see you in my next video bye everyone